Okay, <clears throat> so back again. Now we've just just finished uh, creating this little program here, which is to uh, control a water pump to maintain the level of water between uh, high and low uh, in a in a water tank. So uh, before uh, downloading this uh, program to the PLC, we should just check that there are any errors, and um, I just run these two little options for a verify file. And you'll see down here, verify has completed, no errors found, and um, verify project, and same thing here. So no errors. So it's so it's off to a good start. Now we're going to go up here, and um, first, well, first we should save this program. Um, now we're going to go to uh, download. So I've just pressed uh, download and it's come up with a little thing here, prompt. Uh, do you want to download this download this program uh, for this for this PLC, uh, which is something you check before you start the program, uh, to this PLC located at this Ethernet address, node 0. Uh, which reminds me, I'm still going to have to go through that uh, Ethernet connection stuff, which is set up with this program here, boot, boot p dhpc server. And I'll have to um, just talk about that briefly in a moment. Um, <clears throat> so basically, I go yes. Now and it says processes in run mode. Place a mode switch on processor to program mode. Continue or cancel. Now uh, we'll just do see if we can just open this. That way, I might be able to show you what's happening. I'll get a quick capture. Okay, I'll just grab my camera and I'll just try to show you what's happening over here. So we're going over to the PLC. Now, you can see right now it's in run mode. So basically you want to go up to program mode, press OK, and uh, that's basically it. Alright. I'll just reduce that down now. So it's ready and should be able to, uh, be able to go OK. Uh, downloading image. Do you want to go online? Yes. So now that program is actually uh, what's on the PLC now. So what I want to do now is just go to run mode so I can actually uh, run this program. So I'll just go back to my camera to show you what I'm doing. Go back to here. Go down to run and Go OK, and you can see <coughs> you can see up the top here it's got run. All right, so it's currently running, and this little thing is spinning around, so that's obviously saying it's all running. Um, so far, so good. Now what we've got to do is actually set up the uh, input-output interface on the on the uh, trainer, so that we can see some things happening here. All right. Okay, so I've just set up the webcam to capture an overview of the uh, PLC. Uh, now it's currently on run, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, pull out all these contacts for starters. Get all those out. Now we're using uh, input zero, which is this first one here, and that is going to be going to. Um, we can use either or. We can either use the throw switches or push button switch. Um, I'm going to go for uh, a throw switch. Okay, and. Um, and what I will do is. Okay, input number one, 
I0 backslash 1 or I1. I'm going to go to a second input switch. And uh, then we've got the uh, manual override, which is going to I2. And uh, I'll make that uh, the switch down here just to separate them out a little bit. And the outputs O0-0, uh, which is the motor control, we'll just um, we'll just make it that one. Now that light, since we're not driving anything right now, that light will just simply go on when the motor comes on. And the um, motor override light, which will be the green one, will um, light it for that. Now considering the colours there, it probably would be worth uh, modifying that at a later date. Because motor override really is pretty much red, uh, whereas goes is um, green. So we might change that a little bit later. Now, this is a trial run. Okay, so we've got uh, okay. So motor on. Right now, the first switch there is saying it's uh, the water's too low, so that's uh, turning on and the pump's running. Now, when that hits that first the um, full, that'll full switch will switch on, and the motor turns off, which is sort of what we expected. Um, now, say that was uh, running, the motor's running, motor override, switches off. So it seems to be working all right. All right, we'll just stop that video there. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was when you are throwing those switch switches there, you should see a little highlighting. See the green highlighting? Um, so we've got uh, water level low. That activates this contact that throws that co uh, coil, which uh, energizes all those, because this one here is shut, and energizer turns the pump on. So you can really see your uh, visual logic process occurring here. Uh, water let tank high. So really that one should be off and that should turn on. Um, now there's a bit of a, a problem here in this program and the reason the reason why I say it's a problem is because this is the low level switch. Now as soon as that um, uh, switch is, uh, the, the float switch is um, off, the pump turns off. So really what, what the pump's going to do is it'll just go on off, on off, on off, on off like this. And we want to build up a reserve of water. So uh, the high level switch is really uh, redundant in this situation. So we're going to have to review this program and correct that fault, which we'll do in, a, in the next video.